If you've got a Mew Midi Plus and you want to know how to add games to it, then listen up, I got you. Start off by going into your settings, device info, and checking your version. It should be one of these three that you see on the screen right now. If it's any different, then you cannot proceed with this. Let me know in the comments if it's different for you and I'll cover how to update that in another video. Mine is one of those three, so I'm good to go. Next, head over to the link in my bio. Then scroll down to the resources section and click on where it says Onion OS for Miu Midi Plus. On this page, you're going to select Onion Desktop Tools. Then click on Download Onion Desktop Tools. Unzip all the contents from that file and put it somewhere where you know you're going to find it. I put it on my desktop. Then go ahead and click Onion Desktop Tools Launcher.bat. Here, click on More Info and then Run Anyway. Now you're going to insert your micro SD card into your computer. You can use an adapter for this or a hub that sometimes has those slots. I'm going to go ahead and use a hub. On your computer, you should have Onion Desktop Tools running. We're going to go ahead and select Format SD Card and install Onion and then click OK. Your SD card should show up here, so make sure it's there and click OK. If it detects you have an empty SD card, just go ahead and click Yes. It'll ask you once again to confirm if you want to erase everything, just go ahead and click OK. It'll finish formatting and you now have a blank SD card that says Onion. You'll then see this screen and here you want to select Stable and then Download. Now click on the radio button for the Onion zip file and click OK and then press Yes. Now click on this eject button and then take your SD card out of the computer. Now put that SD card into your Miu Mini Plus and turn it on. Once you see the Onion OS screen, just put your device down and don't touch it, let it do its thing. When you get to this screen, feel free to read what it's telling you until you get to this screen. And on this screen, you can select all the game systems that you want your Miu Mini Plus to emulate. I'm going to go ahead and select some Nintendo and Sega systems. You can choose whatever you'd like. When you're done, go ahead and press start and then start once again. And at this point, go ahead and put your device down and let it finish installing all the emulators. When it's finally done installing everything, go ahead and turn your Miu Mini Plus off and then take the SD card out. We're going to put it back into our computer and then we're going to transfer over a game that we want to play on the device. When you put the SD card back into the computer, you'll now see more folders in that SD card than there were before. We are looking for the ROMs folder here, and it's going to contain all the game systems that you chose when you set it up. And the process of transferring games now becomes super simple. You basically take the game that you want to play and throw it into the corresponding folder. I'm going to take my favorite Pocket Monster game right now and throw it into the Game Boy Advance folder, and we'll see how it works. A quick note before we continue to play our games, some game systems such as the PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast require a BIOS file that will allow you to play games from that system. You can find these on your own using your favorite tech billionaire search engine or whatever. Without a BIOS file, you won't be able to play games from those systems that require it. When you have your BIOS file, you have to put them in this folder. We're finally ready to play our game. Let's go ahead and insert the SD card into our Mini Mini Plus and turn it on. Let's go over to Game Boy Advance and see if Pocket Monster Flame Maroon made it over there. And what do you know? Pocket Monster Flame Maroon is there. Let's start it up and see how it works. And there you have it. In my opinion, the Miu Mini Plus is not really worth having without Onion OS. With Onion OS though, it is still one of my favorite handhelds and it's very powerful. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you need any more help or have any questions, drop it in the comments. Give me a follow and let me know what else you'd like to learn about your handhelds and I'll be sure to try my best to help out. Thanks and happy gaming.